What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to your daily escape. This is Zurai, and today we have a Star Wars Battlefront video. Now, I have been desperately trying to get much better at Star Wars Battlefront, so I've gone through YouTube and watched like the top 25 tips and tricks for Star Wars Battlefront. And in my opinion, they're not detailed enough. They are exactly what I needed to get started out to kind of have a good idea on how I should be playing, but they weren't detailed enough. So I'm going to start two new series, one where I'm just going back, it's kind of like a Star Wars Battlefront school, if you will, where I go through and I watch my own gameplay and critique myself and, show, and talk about what I did right. So today is the first lesson in the Star Wars Battlefront school, and we're just going to watch my gameplay. So. I'm playing Su Supremacy right now, this is on Hoth, and uh, I just jumped in the game, and if you guys saw earlier, I took, it's okay, so I'm retreating right here, never be afraid to retreat, now that sounds wimpy and uh, just like a little pansy, but you gotta choose your battles and you wanna play your battles on your terms. As you can see, I am taking the outside, so I'm not going up the middle where all my other teammates are as you can see on the left. But I'm actually taking the outside and picking people off. So I threw a grenade into that bubble. I got a kill. Got another kill here. Now, what I was thinking here was I was going to back off, get behind cover, kind of get uh, a sense of my bearing. Uh, see, get my bearing is what I should say. I, uh, I like to reset. I, I want to know who's around me, what's going on. Here, here, you, here I pick up a hero pick... <laughs> Wow, here I pick up a hero pickup. A little bit tongue-tied, but uh, that was uh, that was very lucky. As you can see, I was 3-0 right there. But uh, this started out really bad. Uh, I started, I spawned inside, which is horrible for Boba Fett. I should have spawned as Leah just to take on a more supporting role. But uh, I am very familiar with Boba Fett's gameplay, like how to play as him. But uh, I'm inside, so I'm limited. My jetpack, you know, I don't have a lot of vertical space to use my jetpack. As you can see, my health's already down to 27. So I'm trying to, like, run out, get out and open. A missile was coming, so I ducked behind some cover. There's enemies all around me, so I was really overwhelmed here. Um, and I w really wasn't able to shine um, as Boba Fett. Like I said, I'm a lot better with him. Uh, outside. So here I saw Luke. So I'm just uh, trying to do some damage. I don't know why I was shooting that rock. But uh, he's focused on some other guys. So I'm shooting him in the back just uh, to help take him out. Because that'll help the team um, if the other hero is taken out as quickly as possible. Um, so at this point, I'm just playing the game I always do. I'm trying to take the outside and use the jetpack to get a scope of what is going on. And uh, I'm still running the perimeter. I guess right here I decide to avoid this person. That was a misplaced rocket. Uh, I'm not sure how I should be using that the best. I don't know if I should be shooting it into groups of people or what. But uh, here I am. And this is uh, this is kind of where I fail. My I was extremely lucky but not skilled enough to fully utilize the, the hero pickup. I should have, you know, I should have better aim. Like, I need better aim, and I get taken out. So that was not that impressive at all. As you can see, I made it to number two. I only got four more kills with the hero pickup. You can get like 10, 15, 20 kills with that um, if, if you know how to play. Um, this is a mistake I made uh, based off of my spawn point. I did not take the outside. I just ran up the middle, and I uh, got killed quite quickly. So I see the missile. I throw a grenade before I before the uh, I jetpack. I threw a grenade because there's a group of guys there, and then I jetpacked to avoid the missile. That's a very good use for the jetpack. Um, I die right there because of another homing shot. So now I'm just now I'm I've spawned inside and I'm trying to get a get an idea of where everyone is, what what, it's, what the situation is. And I get shot by a smart rocket. I don't know if there's any way that I could have avoided that except to, to stick to cover. 
Um, that's one thing I've learned the hard way, and that's to stick to cover as much as possible. You can take risks, and I take a lot of risks, and I get extremely lucky in a lot of uh, a lot of these kills in this video. So there's an ATST pickup right here. I go for it. One health. I pick it up. I jetpack out. Lucky. Like this. This is not tactical. It's not strategic. I just got lucky. I just went for it and got it. And so this pickup actually puts me on the map. I've probably played as ATST a lot more than I have as a hero. I see the turret aiming at me and trying to shoot me. Um, I shot a missile that direction just to put pressure. Um, I actually did kill someone with that missile. And uh, now I'm just heading. I'm heading up the middle. I'm. I'm gonna try to get. I'm trying. I'm gonna draw fire. And I'm going to take out as many uh, as the enemy as I can. And as you'll see later in the video, I, the, the spawn for the enemy actually moves away because I'm like in this entire area. So there's just tons of guys. Um, they're all focused on shooting inside uh, to get that control point. And uh, they're in a choke point right here. A choke point. It's uh, a narrow spot. They're all bunched up together. And I'm able to throw some grenades and, sh and, uh, and get a lot of them. So if you didn't know, the ATST actually can sprint like a normal character. Um, if if my reticle is yellow, I just keep shooting. There are times where I don't see someone, but my reticle is yellow, and I won't shoot because I'm like, well, I don't see anyone, so why shoot? But I, I figured out there's explosive damage, <clears throat> splash damage, and so you just you wanna you wanna put down a lot of pressure. Um, that uh, that speeder just tried crashing into me, and I believe it did some splash damage. But I was extremely lucky again um, because they missed. And here I am. I'm just uh, I'm just shooting everyone I can see. I've pretty much wiped out this area, and this is what puts me on the map. Like I said, this doesn't take a lot of skill to be honest. But uh, you know, I'm just trying to point out things I did wrong and things I did right and kind of what I was thinking as I was playing this round. Um, mainly for my benefit, because I'm trying to get better, but if uh, hopefully things that worked for me or things that I did wrong will help you guys out as well. So as you can see, the there's a bunch of enemies over on that hill, and I'm aiming over there. Um, and there's not much... Uh, yeah, a lot of my kills were earlier, but there's not a lot going on right here. Um, I, I do get more kills, and then I get taken out by an air speeder. So that put me on the map, 24-5. Uh, I was got first place, and there's not anything much more noteworthy uh, for the rest of this video. Um, I mostly play as just a regular uh, stormtrooper, snowtrooper, and uh, I think I made a lot of mistakes here. Uh, I, I really wasn't aggressive. As you see, I'm taking the side. Uh, one thing I've learned from Destiny and a lot of PvP tips there is you either want to be on the inside looking outside or you want to be on the outside looking to the inside. Uh, I credit Mtash uh, for that for that tip. I can leave a link to his channel. Like I said, he mostly releases uh, Destiny PvP content, but what he says is true. Um, I have a couple friends, uh, my friends Matt and uh, and Ben that I play with quite a bit that. Uh, that play like that. The strategy is to stay on the outside, look in, and get people on the back or on the side. So I uh, just jetpacked. That was a bad jetpack. I jetpacked closer to the hero. Usually you don't want to do that. Either you want to run closer to the hero if that's what you want to do uh, to kill him, and then jetpack away when he focuses on you. For whatever reason, I jetpacked to him. Um, I did deal some hero damage, and then I, I ran out of it. So again, I'm running up the side. I'm focusing on people who are focusing on teammates, hitting them in the back and on the side. Uh, my aim can be improved a lot. I could have gotten a lot more kills if I had a lot better aim. Um, and I was halfway expecting there to be more action going on here just because of what was going on earlier. Uh, but that wasn't the case. Uh, that was me not paying attention to the game progressing. And so here I am, I'm trying to actually go to where we're supposed to capture. And I'm not sure how to approach this, I don't know where people are. So I'm taking my time, kind of poking around the corner, slicing the pie, so to speak. And uh, I go through here, and I make a mistake. I throw that grenade. Okay. Uh, you want, 
personally, or the thermal imploder. You want to throw that when there's a group of enemies, when you have time, when you're behind cover. There's a person running out. They didn't see me. They weren't focusing on me. I should have just shot them. Okay, here I follow my teammate. That's a mistake. I, I do not want to bunch up in the hallway. I realize my mistake, so I come back. Okay. Um, here I throw a grenade. I don't know. I don't know why. I guess I wanted to suppress somebody, but honestly, it didn't do any good. Proximity bomb. Now, I go, since there's a control point here, I draw the proximity bomb near hallway, and then I don't know how they drop exactly, so it kind of landed on the outside of the hallway instead of, like, in the middle. Um, so that's a note to sell for future games, have pay more attention. So here I throw a grenade. That I don't think that was a mistake because it damages this guy. Um, bad aim. I had three very good potential headshots right there, and I didn't get any of them. That is bad aim on my part. Uh, we traded, so whatever. That's a wash. So here we go. I actually zoom in for this shot because he wasn't focused on me. And uh, just to be a little bit more precise. Because I knew I was suffering with my aim earlier. Uh, of course, I'm using a uh, the strongest blaster in the game at the moment, which actually surprisingly has not been nerfed at all. Um, patch notes that came out, I I want to say two or three weeks ago, um, they focused on the grenades and the barrages. So here I am. I'm hitting people in the back. I do my retreat because I want to I want to pick my own battle. A guy on the left just died. If it wasn't for a teammate, I might have been screwed right there. I throw a bad grenade that really didn't do any damage. And now I'm being focused on the entire, you know, people on the team noticed they were being shot from behind, so they came back. And I wasn't paying attention to my left, my left side. So I was still in first place here. I am bringing the game to them, but it's it's taking me more time, so I'm not getting as more kills because I'm playing it safe. So I I was down to second place right there. And uh, and also I'm not finding any more pickups. So a, a large reason why I was on the scoreboard like that was because of the, of the ATST. So here you go, shot him in the back, bad aim, that could have been a kill. I jetpacked over here for some reason, um, I guess to try to find a, a fresh angle and find some other people. So again, shooting from the side, it's so effective. Like all of my normal kills that weren't because of pickups, I should have thrown a grenade here. Or, I do, okay. But uh, a, lo a lot of my my uh, snow trooper skill uh, kills were because I was going in from the side. Jetpack just so I can get in the action because I knew we didn't have time. So we lost the game. Um, I didn't focus on the objectives at all that entire game. But 29-8, I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys learned from this. I uh, hope it was beneficial. If, uh, if you guys have any critique for the video or want to see more, please leave a comment down below. If you like the video, please give it a like. I do plan on continuing these school type lessons where I, I, I watch my own gameplay. And I recommend, if you guys want to get better, record your gameplay. Um, PS4 has built in uh, software to record. It's so easy. Watch your gameplay. Uh, watch it notice the things you did delete it um, and this is just what I'm gonna do for you guys for anyone who can't record I'm just an average guy playing I am really not that skilled but when I have a good or bad game I'm gonna upload it and talk about how how we can benefit from my mistakes so thanks for watching I hope you guys have a wonderful evening and I will see you guys in the next video peace out